What a great week it's been. <laughs> what a start. We've got a big crowd here today. Thanks, Ben. Nice intro. Uh, welcome to No Cap. It's Soul. As you ben. heard, Ben. Who? Ben. Oh, thanks, Ben. Uh, another special guest. We've added another one. Uh, Jacob. Welcome, mate. Thanks, boys. Thanks it's for been a lo- long time coming, huh? Yeah, it's been a while now. So we've been doing this for about a year now. Yeah. Yeah, so no, it's a privilege to be here, boys. Got the call up finally yeah, and uh, we been appreciate... Ad- been hating for me for a while, so... <laughs> <laughs> We activated the uh, HIA, so <laughs> the A, and we've got the uh, shisha smoking research uh, guru there. What's going on, man? Not much, mate. Just here chilling. Yeah, great to hear your voice there. Um, who got who impressed you guys the most? The Warriors did impress. Yep. How they kind of held it together to come back and win the game. Raiders were decimated with injury, but. I mean, you were seeing, we've seen the trend in every game, you know I mean? Teams getting tired. These guys had no subs. Warriors did well, but I mean, the Raiders' effort can't be denied as well, true? True. Uh, well, who impressed me the most is Ricky Stewart and how chill he kept his calm. Oh, yeah, he was pretty chill, yeah. I could see... <laughs> did you see the fire coming out of his ears, bro? I don't know I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, Jacob, what about you? Uh, impressed me the most um, definitely have to be Matt Burden. Um, on, on Thursday night. The Bulldogs. Yeah, so obviously the future's looking bright for the Dogs. Um, just the way he sort of took on the responsibility of, you know, taking on a role of replacing Cleary is always hard. But um, to do it against, you know, the Premier's even harder. And I feel like he did a great job there. I feel like his kicking game was top-notch. Um, and I think, you know, Bulldogs fans should be excited for next year. Yeah, man. Or well, well, this year. Well, uh, I don't <laughs> they're think they're still trying, you know. They're trying, but now, now we gave him Napa. Now we don't want him. Yeah, yeah just sure, they're going to take him. Um, yeah, for me, uh, South Sydney, like, definitely, man. Because if, if it wasn't for those horrible injuries from Roosters, we're talking about that first half performance from the South Sydney Rabbitohs. They killed them. They played them off the park that first half. They definitely stamped their premiership credentials there. But I don't, I don't know, like... That this whole Adam Reynolds situation, the contract situation, they're not budging on the one year. I think that, you know, if they don't get that resolved quickly, that might... Hurt their season. Yeah, it might derail them a little bit, yeah? Wouldn't it? Yeah, it would, it would definitely play a part. Um, obviously, he's leader of that club, and he has been for a while now. Obviously, a premiership winning halfback. So, he, he, will, he will be looking for, I think he's asked for three years. Yeah. Yeah, look. I think he'll accept two years, but they're not budging on one year. I don't understand. Like, who's going to replace this guy? I think I think what probably Souths are trying to do are to make sure that he sort of plays up to what he can so that they can, they, they'll offer him those two years. So sort of saying, you know, if you don't play well, you're not you're not going to stay here. But, but, but then again, who are they going to go after? That's so. what I'm saying. Surely, yeah. who are you going to get? Um, yeah. Michael Morgan? I mean, no, the bloke's about to retire. Yeah. Or maybe even Luke Brooks, but uh, uh, prob- like if you got Adam Reynolds there, you might as well just hold on to him. Yeah, I mean the guy's. Pr- I think the guy's proven himself beyond yeah. shadow doubt. Like he's gotten into three prelims in a row. Cooper Cronk said that's not good enough. I yeah. mean, sorry, bro, we're not we're not all bloody superstars like you. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we, we don't get to. We didn't all come out of a Melbourne system that's formed by Craig Bellamy. Oh, there you go. You got you seem to have issues there. Um, Speaking of, you're talking about Ricky Stewart, that Raiders-Warriors game was pretty good. The injuries were, to Canberra, ridiculous. They got three out in within like five minutes in the first half. And two of them were HIA. Two of them were HIA. One of them was a knee, I think, Tapani or ankle, something ankle. like that. And then they were literally had only 13 players because we heard that Curtis Scott had a floating rib or something, whatever the hell that means. Um, do you agree with them reacting to this? Adding an 18th man for because they didn't even have three HIAs. Like, if you put it back in that moment, yeah, they wouldn't have qualified for the 18th man. So I don't understand. It's such a rare thing to have three HIAs. Yeah, yeah. look, I think they they wanted the 18th man, but they probably didn't know that you'll need to have three people fail the HIA before you're granted that 18th man. And the 18th man has to be a developing player. What the hell's a developing player? So probably someone that's like on a. I don't know, probably hasn't played first grade on sort of a well, like Suwali. contract or some, something along That's those lines, yeah. Um, or a reserve grader. Huh? Yeah, but he's in, is he emerging? Like, he's 
bit old. Like, what's a developer? Like, again, they haven't stated what that is. I reckon developing is a player that <laughs> hasn't played more than a certain amount of NRL games. Regardless, so, do you agree with the way this has been introduced? You do, yeah? Yeah, I do. Well, you, you, it needs to be introduced the sooner than later because the more injuries and HIAs these teams and players get, the more that they lose players during the game. And they'll be like down players to then have the excuse, oh, take a look, we were down this many players off the bench. We, we didn't have anyone to replace them with. But again, go back to the Raiders. They wouldn't have qualified, right? And they, no, they, no, still, would have, they still would have found themselves in a hole. 100%, yeah. Because yeah, I think they only had two. With they only had two. And then two. And they had that one. Yeah, they had the two. Yeah. But even like, I understand why they've done three because such a rare thing. If they had only one HIA and you can bring someone on, as if a coach wouldn't exploit it, eh? In a yeah, finals 100%. game or a grand final. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, uh, to be fair, what well, it's all club doctors, yeah? It's not independent doctors yet, That's is right, it? right. It's club doctors. So, they're definitely going to they're gonna be shifty and they're going to just stuff around with this one, true? Yeah, they will, but it will also mean that you won't sort of rush someone back into playing... Like, who knows, maybe they just pass a HIA or they just fail a HIA, but they still bring him out there. Yeah. Possibly. I'm yeah. not too sure how it all works. So with this, you know, if they'll probably just, it, it'll sort of prevent from rushing someone back in. Um, but like like with three HIAs, it's a very rare situation. I'd yeah. be spewing if I was 18th, man. Yeah, it, it's a rare situation and you probably won't see it happen, happen that often this year. If it does happen, I can't imagine it happening more than three times. But what about that? What about the 18th, man? Like, if he never... Like, okay, it's rare, right? What if he never plays and it's the same guy every week? Well... Like, yeah, he, he yeah. can't play reserve grade. Maybe yeah. it's on the same... Or just <coughs> that same day. They can't... He can't be at two places well, at once. At the moment, they are trialling this in they, reserve they, tri- they trial this... They've been trialling this throughout... All rep teams. Yeah. All the junior rep teams, all the way up to 20s, I think. Yeah. Oh, have they done a New South Wales Cup now? Yeah, they have. But what I'm saying is, like, if you're the 18th man coming up from f- from reserve grade or from 20s and you don't get a run and you're picked as 18th man every week, when do you get to play footy? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think maybe what you'll see is clubs sort of rotating that 18th man every Surely, week right? Because they're surely. at the end of the day, like, you want to make sure that you know, all your players are playing enough footy in case, you know, they are caught up during the season. Of course. You want them to at least be some sort of match fit rather than being that eighteenth man. They already missed the whole year. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I mean I guess they're gonna fix it up, but at the end of the day, <laughs> some way, somehow, coaches are gonna exploit it, clubs are gonna exploit it. You know, we might have a nineteenth man, a twentieth like legit, like this might might go down that track. When you know, when does it stop? We'll see how that goes anyway. Also, that for that pass, the right, the Warriors try, that went ten meters forward. Am I wrong or? Mate, I honestly thought the ref stopped to call the yeah. forward pass. But Everyone stopped, but I think the ref stopped just to get out of the way. Um, there's also a conspiracy that um, Ricky Stewart actually dropped Henry Perinara in the grades. Oh, ten up. years ago. Yeah, and, <laughs> oh, and I think I think he's still holding onto that pretty tight. <laughs> And apparently Henry Perinara wasn't even meant to ref that game. He was yeah, he wasn't. wasn't. He was was refing reserve grade. He was refing reserve grade. And some the NRL ref got injured, so he he got the call up. Um, Can we get confirmation of that research guru, Henry Perinara, his uh, career? That's where he played at? Yeah, look, I don't don't like bagging out refs. I think he was at Cronulla. I don't like bagging out refs, but um, he's... Yeah, I don't know if he's up to NRL standard as a referee. I mean, this isn't an isolated incident. We've seen ridiculous forward passes be allowed to go and played on. Like, it is part of the game, but if it's that blatant, surely you're allowed to look. Would you Would you want them to check forward passes from now on? 100%. Yeah, but won't it cause a lot of controversy? Yeah, it will, but again, you've got to do it to um, benefit the game. You've got a lot of fans that are getting upset about calls that they're... Re- replayed and replayed and replayed with the video ref till the, the the call is made and majority of the time it's it's the wrong call mm. so these fans have overseen the replay and seen the mistake and the other team's been awarded a try 
Uh, I just think it causes a lot more issues, man, up there. They stay up there another two, three minutes. Yeah, it, it will definitely slow down the game. You're obviously going to need that sort of, like what you sort of see in soccer now with that technology, that yeah. goal line technology and all the rest of it. You're going to have to actually... Pr- I think the way they'll measure it is if the way it comes out of their hands. But, yeah. But, you need but that's that. what I mean. Why, why, why can't they just check maybe... Did it come out of the hands backwards? If it did, that's it. It's yeah. a, it's a normal. It's a good pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it came out of the hands forward, like why can't that be the the decision? You know what I mean? Yeah. When it comes to four passes. Yeah. Well, look, the ref's easy to blame in this situation, but you got to remember he's got two touch two touch. What the hell are they doing? And he's also got a bloke in the bunker or two blokes. So what? surely someone can get into his ear and say, "Mate, forward, forward." What are get? What are they getting paid for? Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't know, don't know mate. Nothing. Touch judges that's just the there thing. to sort of put their flag up and down. Um, you know when when. Ball goes out or conversions. So. I, I don't know. I don't get yeah, it. Either way, pointless. But oh, yep. Yeah, Reese says you Just um, b- back onto Henry Perinara. How's um, the Shisha? All good? Yeah, mate. All good. Chilling, here. yeah. Yeah, all good here. Um, so what flavour again, sorry? Uh, it's a flavour called Love 6 6, mate. I mean, yeah. We'll, we'll save that for Watermelon? Chat. Like what? Yeah, it's different fruit flavours. We'll save it for another chat, mate. Um, but pretty much he's he, he had a seven year career. Played at. Warriors, Storm, Dragons, Para, and Cronulla. Okay, so he's a journeyman. Yeah, total of 72 games. What's he getting upset for for getting dropped then? Why would he hold a grudge? It wasn't bloody... He didn't make it to 100 games. Who knows, mate? Who knows? He probably just couldn't hack it. I don't know. But anyways, it's enough for me. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I, I think it just... Again, if they're going to introduce it, I think that's the determining factor, whether it comes out of hand backwards or not. Surely a ref can see that. And if they can't figure that out, then don't even bother. Yeah, yeah, mate. It's It's been a talking point for, for many years now, so as long as I can remember the forward pass. Um, but, like, when when it's that sort of blatant, like someone's got to pick it up. There's you know, Surely. You've got two touch judges, you've got a ref, and you've got people you know, in the bunker. So surely someone's seen that and just getting into the refs here. I'm not sure if the bunker's allowed to intervene without sort of being caught upon. Surely can say something. Legit, it flew four, five, yeah. five yeah. metres forward. And, like, and it looks like the ref was in perfect position to to, to call it, you know. So, so it is conspiracy. He saw it. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know. Ricky Shields press conference after was... was um, yeah, I'll, I'll back him 100%, mate. Yeah, I'll I mean... Because if he wanted to say what he really thought, he would have been fined. And he would have been... He yeah, put it perfectly, you know? They would have jailed him. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. He didn't even say anything they're holding an investigation. Yep. They're holding an investigation about him, I think, abusing one of no, the I think he's like, on the field. I think he's okay. Yeah, some ground manager ratted him. I don't know. Let's move on. Um, Tam Alola wants to play Origin. Where the hell did that come from? I'll be honest with you. I think he's got a, I think he's got a case. I, I I think he could. Like, if you go through his career, where he started playing footy. Yeah, I think he he, he was born or he sort of moved to Australia when he was thirteen. I think he moved a bit earlier. I think a bit earlier. I think I think eleven or twelve. And okay. he's he played his junior footy here. Yeah? He played under. He played Queensland reps. Yeah, yeah. Played all through the reps. Played the Aussie school yeah. boys. I think. Yeah. Look, that's fine, but. At the end of the day, State of Origin, the best place from State of Origin play for Australia. That Well, that's what State of Origin's for, isn't it? Mm. I, I th- I, I'll be honest, I think that should change. Should change. But then, then it would just turn into from an now. All-Stars match. No, no, but I'll explain. I'll explain why. What do you think before I go? So, I feel that he shouldn't play because it will be unfair on previous um, players that came through. So, Sonny Bill Williams left the game because he wasn't able to play for... Um, you he think that was the reason, part of the reason why he left? Yeah. Okay. It's unfair that uh, Benji could have played for Queensland if uh, that's the that's case. That's true. Look, it, it varies because now Viliami Kikau has come out and said, like, I want to play State of Origin. Where Viliami yeah, but, Kikau, yeah, one sec. Wait, 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 one sec. <laughs> Viliami Kikau is able to play um, for New South Wales due to the fact that he plays for... Isn't he from third, Queensland, Cuz? No, no, he's from New South Wales. He played for the Cowboys in the 20s. Okay, yeah. But I'll I'd f- imagine he's from Fiji. That's what I'm saying. When did he come to Australia, but? One second, let me finish. Okay, go. So, because he's from a third-tier nation from Fiji, he'll be able to qualify to play State of Origin. Where, because um, Tamalolo started uh, his rep career for New Zealand 
and now, now he's moved to Tonga, which is the third T um, nation. He's uh, he's not allowed to play. But I'm saying I think he should be. I think the rules got to change. Fifty percent. This is not the old days. Yeah, fifty percent of NRL players. They're either their parents are born overseas, or or they were born overseas. Or like they've got a they've got a different background. They don't they haven't got an Australian background. Yeah. If they came to Australia or they were born in Australia, all right, and they grew up through the systems in New South Wales and Queensland, played their junior footy, started their junior footy, played through the systems, they didn't have to play reps, but they played through New South Wales systems, Queensland systems, they got into NRL. Why shouldn't they be allowed to play for New South Wales or Queensland? And also, uh, like their heritage, whether it whether be New Zealand or, or Tonga or forget about T1, yeah, or England or or to, uh, Samoa, Lebanon, anyone, yeah? Why shouldn't he... Like, if I grew up, if I was born overseas and I came 12, but I have an affinity, I understand the game, I have affinity for the game, I played through the juniors, you know, and I made it NRL, I have an attachment to New South Wales, right? Like, uh, to where I grew up in, right? Why can't I play for New South Wales in a, a different nation other than Australia? The dynamic has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's an interesting one. Um, well, obviously, a lot of people are going to have their sort of views on. Of course, it, of course. I just feel like if you're playing for for an Australian state, so either New South Wales or Queensland, you should be eligible to play for Australia. And if you're not willing to do that, then just you probably not you shouldn't be playing Origin. But I get what you mean, as in, you know, that they probably want to represent their country. And what Tamalolo and Fafida have done for for Tonga and even Pangai Junior has been unreal. Like, for them to beat Australia a few years ago, mate, yeah. like, no one, if you ask someone, or... That was a turning point. That was five a big, years ago, yeah, no they way. would have laughed at you. But yeah. what they've done, mate, it just only made, made our sort of game on an international scale so much better. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know, back to origin, I just feel like if you're from New South Wales, so... I think they've changed the rule a few times. Um, if you've yeah, played your have. junior footy in New South Wales, you're eligible to play for New South Wales. But then, I don't know, so like, goes back to the English sort of thing as well, where he was, you know, grew up in New South Wales and then ended up playing for... Oh, for that's a different, there. that's a different, like, yeah. issue there. Like, yeah. whether you want to play for Queen, that's different. But I'm just talking about the guys that want to represent their background because they may not make Australia, you know what I mean? Why are they being deprived of playing for their, their background, you know what I mean? Their nation that their parents were born in or they were born in. Yeah, but so how, where do you, where do you draw the line? What what's, 12, what's no leave it twelve, leave it twelve. So like what what's what's the qualification you need to be eligible if to you, play for Queensland if, or New South Wales? If you played in the Queensland and New South Wales systems, three like juniors, what, like like sort of the Harold Mats or something of you don't have to make the rep team, but you played your club footy, you somehow made it into the NRL. I'm I'm assuming you made rep teams, yeah? yeah. But you came to Australia before twelve. Before twelve, yeah. Okay, twelve or before, yeah. Why shouldn't you be allowed to play for Tonga and New South Wales or Tonga and Queensland or Samoa? And Why shouldn't you? Yeah. Like Jerome Luai, yeah? He's been in the New South Wales camp, yeah? Yeah. Do you think he'd make Australia right now? No. It, it, if they pick... Or if how, they pick the side right now. Like what? 17? Yeah, 17. Would they be in the side? He wouldn't be the six, no. No, he wouldn't be the six. He no. probably wouldn't be the utility either. No, no. So why can't he go and represent New South Wales and Samoa? Yeah. Again, the dynamics changed but from... S- okay, Samoa is a second T. No, we're about second T. I don't care about that, that anymore. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking in general. A lot of players now... Well, you know this, and we all know this, yeah? A lot of players that represent are representing the NRL have a connection to their background, to their to their original country, yeah, and I love other that, than Australia. Yeah. yeah, it's great. You know what I mean? Like, why can't they be eligible? I, I feel like they should be eligible. Maybe not Tal Malolo, all right? He wants to change that narrative. I get it. Tony Carroll bloody plays for New Zealand for four years before he played Queensland. I mean, come on, man. Like, that's, that's dumb. Brad Thorne, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I know you're saying it might become an all-star game, but if they have a genuine connection, uh, Paul Kent said, oh, and then we may as well get Sam Burgess to play. Uh, brother, where did, when did Sam Burgess <laughs> play junior <laughs> football in New South Wales? Yeah. That's, that's such a stupid comparison. Like, this guy's actually got a legitimate case here, right? Yeah, yeah. If we actually look at it, all right, they won't, probably won't allow it, but why can't that be the thing going forward? And letting, like, say, an Adam Fanua Blake, you know, Happy Coruscant, like, they're good enough, I think, to play. 100%. You know what I mean? And it makes the game more exciting. 
100%. If they got a genuine connection and it's it's this proof, I think it'll make the game yeah. ten times better. I man. think I think something that people sort of aren't aware of is sort of the prerequisites you need to yeah. be eligible. So if the NRL can just come out and be clear and say, look, this is what we're going to do going forward, um, why not? You know, and and I and I agree. If you know, if you want to play for your country, hundred percent, go for it. Um, but originally, what Origin was was you'd pick the best 17 to of represent course. the country at of the, course you know whether it be a tour at the end of the year or of course you know, but uh, again why why are we making a decision between making one thing weaker than the other why can't yeah. we just make both stronger yeah, make yeah. international footy stronger let them yeah. play for their countries yeah. make that competitive yeah. and make origin even better yeah make them both stronger it yeah. makes everything yeah. like it, it will work out yeah I, I think i think it's something that they'll heavily consider and because it will definitely benefit the game oh, of course 100 yeah. percent. we'll see what they do anyway uh let's get straight to round four all right i reckon the first three games <laughs> honestly picked themselves manly versus penrith dogs versus rabbitos storm versus broncos you don't have to be a genius to guess who wins them right can you see an upset in any no other? way no way Nothing. You? Maybe in the Bulldogs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 good one, cuz. No, the Lewis is back. There's a change. Oh, mate, what a game changer. I know, honest, mainly in Penrith. Like, Penrith, I, I reckon Penrith are even more dangerous with Croydon at the back than Edwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's where he sort of started on his debut, isn't it? Yeah. He came on in that second half. But look, um, I'm not saying Manly will win. There's going zero and three. Surely he's got something. Yeah, look the thing. The thing with these three teams that are, that are underdogs and they're like ten dollar underdogs is they pl- they'll be competitive for a half, then they run out of gas, then it's done. They all have that in common: dogs, seagulls, broncos. Am I wrong about that? No, you're not. Cause so you, you reckon it comes down to fitness? No, no, no. No, it's I'm, not fitness. I'm talking about competitiveness, how long they'll be up for. Because you can't defend all game, yeah? If you can't hold the ball, you can, like if you keep doing the same mistakes you did in the first half, you can only hold them out so long. Yeah. And these teams, Penrith, Souths and Melbourne, are the top attacking sides in the comp, along with the Roosters, true? I mean, it's a tough ask. Yeah. Tough ask. Yeah, look, it, it will be tough. Um, mainly, they might put up a fight. Uh, I feel like they did okay against the Bunnies a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, um, to a point. Yeah, to a point. And, yeah. that, and that was the same with the Dogs against yeah, Penrith. Yeah, like that first half, they sort of hung in there. But you can only defend for so long before, you know, it gets the better of you. And uh, But yeah. look, um, Penrith are missing, you know, a handful of players. So yeah, look, I suppose with, with Cleary coming yeah, back, got, it's going to be they've massive. They've got depth. They do. They've got really good depth. And I think that's, that's going to be their... That's the advantage going ahead against the other top teams. If they get injuries, they got really good players to cover for them. Yeah. Um, so, do you see anything different first three games? No. Um, uh, I'm going to go with Penrith for the first game. Penrith, yeah. Dogs, Storm. Yeah. Sorry, Penrith, Dogs, Storm. Penrith, Rabbitohs, Storm, yeah? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not going Dogs, mate. Let's go straight to Saturday. Cronulla, North Queensland. North Queensland is a basket case. And again, I don't see anything other than a Cronulla victory, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Um, the game was supposed to be at Sunshine Coast, but it's actually been moved to Cogra, so... So even better for the Sharks. 100%, mate. Um, less travel for them. And I think it's a double header as well, so Gold Coast and Canberra will be playing um, at Cogra too straight yeah. after. So, look, um, you know, Cowboys have been quite disappointing. Horrible. Um, obviously, they're not the same side they were a few years ago, but... Some big players want to go. Yeah, the stories, yeah. it's just, it's ugly. Yeah. It's ugly. And you sort of saw dynamic. that with Josh Maguire's post, um, post-match yeah. interview. Um, yeah. You could tell he was pretty sort of disappointed He's filthy. in his performance. He's very filthy. Which is fair enough, mate. You know, he comes from like a winning culture and just to sort yeah. of see that, um, you know, it's pretty upsetting. Um, but then with the Gold Coast and Canberra. That, oh, that, wait, that, Benny, that, what are you going? Cronulla or Cowboys? I'm going to go with Cronulla. All right, yeah, you were talking about Titans Raiders. That, that's actually going to be a good game. That's match of the round for me. That's going to be a good yeah, game. I think that's uh, they're very. I reckon it's evenly matched there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe a year, Titans, a year or two ago, you'd look at the Titans and you sort of wouldn't be too excited to watch them play. Not at all. But but the sort of performances they put on the past two weeks, mate. They've got uh, a lot of points in them. Yeah, they, they'll give and, Canberra a run for their money. And Canberra's got a lot of points in them. It's going to be a very well, fun game. Yeah, like well, I don't care if there's no defence here, but Canberra. I think they both can. 
put it, put the points on here. Canberra have sort. Of, uh, I think it's Seb, Chris, and and Ryan James sort of having to pass that final test. They probably going off with the HR. Yeah, they'll probably be out. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if if they lose them, that that'll be massive. Mm. Um, but mate, I think. Obviously, not being a home game for for the Titans in like the sense that they're not playing in the Gold Coast. Is that um, confirmed? They're not playing there. Yeah, all? it's a double header. It's okay. a double header. Sweet. If you want to check, I reckon. No, no, it's fact, sweet. No, I'm with you. Cheers. I reckon the next game is the hardest game to pick. Right, who are you around. picking, Titans or Raiders? I'm gonna go with Titans. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'll go Raiders. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with um. Tough one. I'll probably go. I'll probably go Canberra. I think. Yeah. I think they'll be sort of spewing after what happened last week, and oh, yeah, you, you'll see a different side. Very on, filthy on on um, Saturday night. Newcastle Sunday. Newcastle St George. Newcastle disappointing last week. I, I had I tipped Tigers. I had a feeling yeah, yeah. that they were going to buckle. Yeah. Like Tigers almost buckled themselves. To be yeah, fair. Yeah. But Newcastle were poor against them, and uh, St George they've been pretty good against crap teams. To be fair, but. They've lost Penn Hunt, haven't they? So Yeah, he's out for us. That's a that's a big loss weeks. for them. To me, for me, that's a big loss for them. Um I think Newcastle might just get ahead of him here. Yeah, obviously Newcastle's still missing, you know, Fitzgibbon and, and Ponga. Yeah. Um but I think what Jack Bird's got injured himself on the weekend. Oh as well, okay, yep. Yeah. Um Mitch Barnett's out for also for Newcastle. For Newcastle, yep. Yeah, and, and um obviously what's his name? Benny Hunt, you know, he, he'll, he'll be a big loss sort of steering the yeah, boys around the park. Yeah, of course, yeah. Because they're one, they're one, six, seven, and nine is the ones that are going to get them the results. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I know they've got good players around them, but if they're not clicking, there's no, they're no hope. And they've done well, they've done okay so far. I've yeah. been pretty impressed. Yeah. Like, they've got points in them. That's, that's the thing with these bad teams. Like, the thing I wanted to say with the dogs, which disappointed me, there's no points in them. Like I don't care if you can't defend. You've coming from the bottom. Show me something in attack. All right, defense will sort itself out later. That is something you're gonna build. But who's got the attack now? And I'm pretty shocked with the, the dragons, to be honest. Yeah. Well, they've they've had what well, they played what uh, Cowboys the week before, and then the Sharks as well. Yeah, they gave them a run for their money as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, th- this would be a good te- this would be a good test for the dragons. Yeah. To sort of see where they're at, um, you know, I wouldn't be writing them off. Obviously, no way. Any team with Zach Lomax in it's a, a dangerous team. So uh, he scored twenty-two points by himself last week. Yeah, and he hasn't missed a kick. I mean, I wouldn't say by himself. I mean, he got a bit of help. I mean, he kicked the cut. You know, like I mean, he hasn't missed a he's kick not Superman. Too, you know, man. relax. What are you telling people to buy him on Supercoach or something? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for the input. Um, so you got you got dragons. Um, I mean, he talked them up. So. I did, I did, but you can't, you can't also write off Newcastle. Like they're playing at home. Um, I'm, I'm, big, I'm picking the Knights here. No fence sitting here, mate. Let's go. Newcastle. All right, Newcastle. This is going to be an interesting game. Roosters Warriors. If the Roosters were full strength, I'd easily go Roosters. Yeah. Would you? Easily. Even after what the Warriors did last e- week in Canberra. Yeah, easily, still. The Roosters are top team, um, but they're decimated with injury. No Lamb, he's gone for a long time. Kiri's out for the weeks. season. Might be longer. It might be longer. Um, um, <laughs> Kiri's gone for the season. They get Radley back. He's a big in for them. Sam Walker debuts. Um, Hutchison's at six. I heard that, oh, from Fox League that that's going to be reshuffled. We see Manu going to the to the five eight there. And now what, Swali in the centre or something? Nah, I think Ikevalu. I think Swali's going to be 18th man for a couple of weeks. They're going to just G everyone up. Um, Warriors were impressive last week, no doubt. Again, um, they had a really crap first half against against the Raiders. And they beat a Tyron Raiders team. I'm not taking any of the effort away. They did a lot to get back into it. But the Roosters, I'm pretty excited to see what... Young Sam Walker's got. Yeah, and, and just in general, what what have these guys got left? I mean, yeah. Teddy's still there, so... Well, they're, they're six, they're seven, they're nine are all out. Yep. Um, and obviously, their backup dummy half, two, is still, Verils is still, still, still out. Back, so. I heard he might be out for a bit longer. Yeah, though. yeah. Nine more weeks, uh, that um, infection, uh, the ACL copped an infection. Yeah, sad news, yeah. but... Yeah, so th- th- this will be a good game. game. This will be a good game. It is a shame. 
Um, I think I think you're going to have to see Teddy probably step up. Um, yeah. Obviously, Radley, a welcome addition back. He'll have to also step up from the start, just sort of lead the boys around the middle. I think I think he will. Um, I think he'll slot back. Hutchinson's had a few NRL games under his belt, so yeah. Look, he's a good utility for them. Yeah, but again, yeah. I don't know if he's starting there. Yeah. I'm hearing Manu's going to be at five eight there with Walker. So, well, that, that'll that'll take a lot of sort of strike power out on the edges. Um, yeah. With Manu out because you can sort of look. They're going to push in Brett Morris. Uh, I mean, yeah. he's still going to be okay out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose. But that that um, Sam Walker. No, it's a big test. It's a big test. Like Adam Fanor Blake, you can just see how he's going to be aiming for him all game, 100%. make his life a hell. Oh, their second rows will be running at him. And oh, their second rows. Oh, <laughs> Surinan, but they'll be he's going to get a all game. yeah. But but he's got. I think he's got good protection around him. Definitely, I think he's got yeah, solid because protection because most of their forwards are still, still yeah. there. So still if, a strong. If, if they can look after Cronk with one shot, I'm sure that they'll, they'll do a job here for him. Look, he's been playing well in cup. I've watched a bit of him, Walker. He's pretty good. Like yeah. he's, oh, there, he there, looks ready. There's wraps on him. So. Yeah, he's ready. Like he's ready. They wouldn't like Roosters wouldn't play a young guy if they didn't think he was ready. They, they know how to find them. I of guess. course, yeah. They're ready. For, they're, they're set for the next ten years. Um, who are you going with Roosters? I'm going Roosters here. Roosters or Warriors for years. I'm 100 percent going the Warriors, mate. Yeah. Um, based off last week's performance, the way yeah. they just sort of stuck in there. Give them confidence. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, I'm I'm gonna safe bet it this week and go with the Warriors just because of the outs the Roosters have. Are they your specials this week? Yeah. Yeah, I just said it. Uh, <laughs> all right, last game. I reckon this is the upset. This could be the upset of the round. Tigers Eels. Um, I'm not sure about a couple of the Eels players whether they're playing or not. Moses and Sevo. Not sure, hundred percent. Did they pass the HIAs for this week? I'm not nope. sure. So, I mean, I'm, I'm unsure about that. Tigers are going to get a lot of confidence confidence out of last week. They had a really good lead. They put themselves in a hole and they got out of it. So, got to give them credit there. They showed character there. What do you guys think? Oh, I think this might be an upset. Uh, I, I can't say. I mean, I think Parramatta, you know, they've just got a great great side, I reckon, that can do the job. Um, Ryan Madison's back. Yeah, he's, he's back from um, concussion. So, I think Parramatta are just too strong. Mm. Um, you know their their forward pack so very mobile. Oh yeah, Junior Paulo yeah. and Regan they've been they're probably the best duo right now, front row duo in the game. Yeah, so at the moment. And um, I think you'll see probably that number twelve Ryan Madison try and get um one up on his old club. Yeah, um, I think when he versed him first time last year, he didn't sort of go the way he had <laughs> planned, but. He, he needs to make up for that one. He'll, yeah. be, he'll be looking to sort of bounce back here, and I think he will. So. But um, yeah, like, like I said, um, don't count the Tigers out there. Like, that, like they get up for this one. Easter Monday, center stage. It's gonna be a big crowd. Yeah, yeah. Like that, they'll yeah. be up for it. Like yeah. I'm, I'm not. I don't think Paris gonna go on with it. Oh, I'd be shocked if Paris smashed them. To be honest. Yeah, I think the only thing Tigers have in their favour is that ANZ or yeah, uh, Stadium Australia they call it now, not yeah. a Bank West. Um, but yeah, mate. Look, I think I think Parramatta win this para? comfortably. Yeah. Got para, para. Um, yep. I'm gonna get Tigers. Just a bit of difference. All right. Just before we go, um, I was supposed to bring this back last week, but um, build confidential, man. Um, any scoops this week, bro? Have you any sightings of players? I mean, you gave us a big one round one, unnamed Tigers player. Did you see anyone this week? Um, <laughs> no, not really. I haven't been. <laughs> I haven't been out. What have I stumped you, bro? I mean, come on, I man. I haven't. Huh? I've, come on, mate. I haven't been out and about. What all do you mean? All all I've done this week was go out to Penrith. Ah, I went out to Penrith. Yeah. Oh. To any any scoops nice out? Early. Any scoops out there? Um. Yeah, Matt Burton might be starting. Ooh. He's starting centre. <laughs> Been named, hasn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, unbelievable, Ben. Thanks, Thanks for that ben. scoop. Oh, Thanks beautiful. Hey, hey, quickly, who's the most famous person you massaged this week? I mean, you are the regular um, gu- massage guru. Matt, uh, probably Matt Burden. Matt Burden. Any, anything from him? Any comments about your massage technique back? No? Uh, no. Nah. How's how's Mounties going? How are they going? Are good? They're pretty good. We're two, uh, we're two from three. Second Who you got rider. this week? We got South. They're at the bottom. I heard you got a big, big name second row coming back into the starting lineup this week. Yeah, big props to Dino Madison. Yeah, so um, I think he'd be, <laughs> he'd be buzzing to be back out there after his two week suspension. He'd be buzzing. Uh, you mentioned him, Benny. So if you want to see the video of why I got suspended, <laughs> I can show you. <laughs> you can't uh, be that bad. Come prepared next week, build. Yeah, I need bigger scoops than this, man. 
All right. Um, Can't just tell me someone went to Grappo one day and and oh yeah, you know, you bumped into him. You gotta bump into more people, cause that's your that's your job this week, yeah. So you want me to be more out and about? Mate, you're always out and about. What are you talking about? You spend two hours at home a day. What do you mean? I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Hey, Jacob, thanks for jumping on, man. I appreciate it. That's all good. Thanks. Hey, for hey, how you boys. feeling? All right? All good? Uh, a bit Enjoyed overwhelmed, it? but um, yeah. No, thanks for having me, boys. Yeah, no, we appreciate uh, it. Uh, ben, yeah, thanks, it's, man. It's been great. Yeah. Next no, week, I'm, huh? I'm excited for this week. Yeah. I can hear it in your voice. For what? The whole round or the dogs? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the whole round. Okay. Reset I'm not excited for that match. Shisha. Thank you, brother. Thanks for your help out this week. Yeah, mate. I think you guys would be a little bit lost without me. It's always good to have the laptop out ready to go. All right, mate. I need, I need more confirmation of flavours next week, yeah? Because that's not good enough, yeah? Whatever you gave us this week. Mate, what, what was that no, no, that's mate? not good enough. We're here to talk about footy. I don't care, mate. I don't, I, don't, I don't care, mate. This is just I'll, here as a little... I don't care, mate. I need, I need to know the flavours next week, all right? No that's worries, your mate. job. Mate, you, you'll have a more in-depth analysis. You're the research guru, all right? Step onto it. Will do, mate. Thanks, Thank boys. Appreciate it. Welcome. Enjoy the footy. Thanks Take care. Boys.